If you have been looking at a tractor forum, I'm sure you've heard someone mention a top and tilt kit, or it's abbreviated as TNT. That's a hydraulic top link and a hydraulic side link. Normally you have a top link that's adjusted by hand and a side link that's adjusted by hand. Usually when you install the hydraulic side link, it's put on the right side of the tractor and you move your mechanically adjusted side link over to the left side just in case you need more adjustment. You don't have to buy a top and tilt kit actually. You can buy just a hydraulic top link or a hydraulic side link. Depending on what kind of tractor you have, you may be able to get a hydraulic top link and side link through the dealer, or you may have to go with an aftermarket one. If you're going to order a hydraulic top link or side link, you need to adjust your mechanically your mechanical side link all the way out and then all the way in to get the extended and retracted lengths of it. And then you'll give that to the person you're buying it from to match up the proper size. It's also important to get one that is large enough in diameter. I've seen some places just selling hydraulic top lengths in different lengths, but not in larger diameters. For example, you wouldn't want to use this uh, hydraulic top link on a tractor that's 100 horsepower, because if you go with one that is too small in diameter, when you get to pulling hard with it, the hydraulic top link could extend all the way out or retract, depending on well if you're pulling or pushing and your side link, if you're picking up a big load, it could drop down, and if that would happen, it's actually overpressurizing your hydraulic system, and you could blow something up in your hydraulic system. So, you don't want to buy a hydraulic top link that's too small in diameter for your tractor. To operate a hydraulic top link, you'll need one remote, and for your hydraulic side link, you'll also need a remote. So to run a top and tilt kit, you need two sets of remotes. A top and tilt kit is great for grading implements like a scraper blade or a box blade. They also work great with pallet forks on the three-point hitch. And then you can see I have a quick hitch on this tractor. The hydraulic top link and side link make hooking up to implements a breeze even on uneven terrain because you can just quickly adjust and pick right up on the implement. I've mentioned it before in other videos, but this uh, valve on the tractor is a float valve so I can float my hydraulic side link. So if you had something like a finish mower, you could let it float so it would follow the uneven land. Or it's also great for when you're pushing snow with a scraper blade to allow it to float so it's not digging into the ground. And to move the hydraulic top link or side link, I just worked with my remote valves inside the tractor. This is float. So now you can see how a hydraulic top link and side link work on a tractor. The major drawback to them is the cost. You're looking at 
over 300 for a hydraulic top link and over 300 for a hydraulic side link and then you need a remote to run each one back in the old days on a tractor like on an 8N Ford you could just turn around and get to your top link but on these newer tractors you can't do that you got to get off and on the tractor so they are a time saver and you can do a lot better work since you can adjust on the fly thanks for watching if you like this video like it and don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment also.